Hi, I wanted to make a video on um, what I do in order to make my life a little easier. Um, above all else, I use fentanyl patches to chemically manage the pain in my extremities. Uh, I live with migraines, which are strong headaches, on a regular basis. And I found that the gabapentin lowers the intensity of the migraines, but um, approximately like an hour after I take the gabapentin, I notice I have really strong arrhythmias. So I've officially stopped taking this med and I'm currently trying to get through the day with the headache and um, when intensity gets to be too much for me I just I lay down in the dark and just kind of wait for it to go away or get lower um, I decided to stop working but I'd like to give a shout out to Walgreens pharmacy my co-workers and boss allowed me to sit when um, it had gotten to be too painful to stand and um, they're very understanding of my condition and I told and they even told me, like, when I told them that I was going to have to stop working, that if I should ever decide that I want to work again, that the, that I could always, you know, return. So um, Walgreens Pharmacy, it's a good company. Um, every morning, I wake up, like, two to three hours earlier in order to give myself time to get ready without hurting myself even more. Because I move very slowly and carefully in the morning because... Um, I'm always lightheaded, dizzy, weak, and very stiff. Um, I use a cane every morning to travel around my home. I am currently um, trying to get a scooter from the scooter store to that they process it through insurance. So I'm not sure how that's like turning out. I have to see if my insurance is even going to pay a copay, uh, pay 80% of it. But I'm trying to get a scooter um, because sometimes I'm so weak, my leg muscles shake in weakness from me trying to just stand on them. So um, a scooter is something that's I'm gonna be getting in the near future. Um, I brush my teeth with a soft toothbrush as to not cause my gums to bleed too much. Um, the skin in my mouth is extremely sensitive where sometimes when I eat, I am left with a lot of cuts on the inside of my cheeks, tongue, and the roof of my mouth. And um, actually in order to eat and not vomit, because I was vomiting a while. I'm now using scopolamine. It's um, a patch that you put behind your ear. And I, I just have it um, behind my ear right here. Um, and I alternate. And it lasts um, three days. It, I have, Since I've used it, I haven't thrown up yet. And I'm not nauseous. I still get dizzy and lightheaded, though. But um, before I eat, I also have to take an antispasmodic, to, um, which is directed towards my upper GI. And after I eat, I have to take another antispasmodic um, directed towards my lower GI because um, without these medications, the pain of digestion is just too horrible without, you know, without any intervention. I, I, I would eliminate food from my and just try to live as long as I can without eating. Um, but these medications actually help me um, work through the pain of eating. Um, Depending on the plans of the day, I will take my kneecaps in order to lower the ease in which they pop out and dislocate, uh, causing me to be in ridiculous amount of pain and stuck using a cane for the rest of the day. Like that's pretty much, I try to avoid, if I know I'm gonna walk a lot, I try to avoid um, n dislocating my knee, so I, I, type, I tape it. Um, now that it's winter, I choose to use clothes that really keep me warm as possible because I'm very sensitive to the cold. As soon as I get a little chilly, I start to shiver and shake and like spasm. My fingertips always go numb along with my toes and like after five minutes of shivering, the pain in my back and my ribs become so unbearable that if I don't warm up within the next 15 minutes, um, I easily collapse from exhaustion and pain. So um, the cold is definitely not for me. I have to be really bundled. Um, during the day, I try not to stress my body out because I will pay for it later with intense muscle spasms. I try to stay in tune with my body so that I know when I need a break. Um, I still haven't mastered and probably never will because I'm a people pleaser. Um, if somebody needs my help, I must help them. Like If I don't, I feel horrible and I get sad and pretty much can't stand thinking about how I don't didn't help that person. So for my own sanity, I need um, I need to help people that reach out to me. And I ended up sometimes pushing myself past the limit and I have to deal with the spasms, you know, in private. 
but um whenever i drive i must have a pillow supporting my back because i have best scoliosis and if i don't have the back support while i sit the pain increases to a point of dispersing throughout my whole back and hips and like rather than just the centralized normal pain it like actually gets really bad so um i also have um separate mini fridge in my apartment which um my apartment away from home it how because i have like three other roommates and so it kind of keeps our food separate so that my roommates foods don't contaminate my food so I, I don't have to really worry about having allergic reaction um because of a contamination because my my allergic reactions stem from hives all the way up to anaphylactic shock and if i were to trigger another anaphylactic shock i probably wouldn't survive it just because of my heart condition so i have to be really careful now um when i travel from home to my apartment at school i use a rolling mini suitcase as to avoid carrying numerous bags and back and forth um which increases the chances of dislocating a joint and adding more pain to what i already feel on a regular basis um i have a shower chair unfortunately even though i'm only 23 years old after i take a shower i am winded and if i stand for too long in one place it feels like I just finished running a marathon. I get tachycardia, which is um, the racing heart, which causes me to get really lightheaded and also leads to dizziness. And if I ignore it, I could easily faint. So um, a shower chair is pretty much essential for me if I'm going to take a shower. Um, while I shower, I have to use the same shampoos, conditioners, and soap that I know I'm not allergic to because um, I have come across many bath products that cause me to break out in hives and sometimes feel like acid on my skin. Um, skin maintenance is very important. A symptom of EDS type 3 is stretchy and velvety skin, which I have. Um, I have both stretchy and velvety. So um, skin's primary purpose is naturally to protect our insides and it protects us against infections. It sends important um, signals to our brain uh, for example, if you burn yourself, it hurts. Um, it helps us develop, for example, therapeutically from massaging. Um, skin also helps us heal. Unfortunately, though, for people like me with disconnected tissue or collagen disorder, our skin is defective. Um, it has trouble protecting our insides from infection because it breaks so easily. Our connective tissues within our joints may be sending too many signals to our brain, causing us to be in chronic pain. Who knows? That's just a theory of mine. Um, mostly, most importantly, our skin has a difficult time healing itself. So for this reason, I have a special regimen that helps me to protect my skin. And um, if you guys are interested in knowing like how I maintain my skin and what products I use that I'm not allergic to, then that and also helps me heal faster. Um, just you know, leave me a comment or a message, and I'll make another video if you guys really want to know. Um, how I take care of my skin um, and protect it from breaking and help having it heal faster and uh, dealing with scars and things like that. Um, I also wanted to show this brace real quick. Um, it's called True Fit. It, it has three straps and um, I pretty much um, wrap it around my knee like this. It's very, it's very uh, flexible but then sturdy at the same time. So like this goes at the top, so you wrap it to um, not really, um, what's that, stop your circulation. You can avoid it, you know, you just tie the knee part even tighter, that's what I do, as tight as you need it to be. And then um, the bottom part goes around and then um, you have the knee brace and you have a little bit more support. I wear these on both of my knees and it's, pretty discreet because it's thin but it's like really strong so I've noticed that um, this really helps and I wear um, body sculpting like leggings um, in order to hold help with my blood with my circulation because you know the warm the, you keep yourself warm and it help with it'll help with circulation and it also protects my skin from the brace so that's one way that I, I protect my skin, but I have products and everything. If you guys are interested, just let me know.